The new development surrounding Meghan Markle's lawsuit against a British newspaper that published parts of a letter she wrote to her dad. As the Mail on Sunday appeals that ruling, a London court has now released some eye-opening correspondence. ABC's Lama Hassan live in London this morning with the latest on that drama. Good morning, Lama. And good morning to you, Brian. It was just a few months ago the Duchess of Sussex was victorious, winning her case against the newspaper group that published her letter to her father. But now with Harry and Meghan's former communication secretary breaking his silence, submitting new evidence, detailed texts and emails Harry and Meghan sent to him, the battle is far from over. Overnight bombshell revelations in court, written in her own words, the Duchess of Sussex, explaining why she penned a letter to her estranged father, Thomas Markle, in August 2018, saying the royal family were, quote, constantly berating Prince Harry over her strained relationship with her father. We're definitely discovering that there was, you know, many and perhaps different reasons than we had previously known for this letter being written. In one text, the Duchess telling their former communications secretary, Jason Knauf, the catalyst for my doing this is seeing how much pain this is causing H. Even after a week with his dad and endlessly explaining the situation, his family seemed to forget the context and revert to, can't you just go and see him and make this stop? They fundamentally don't understand. Also suggesting a handwritten letter, quote, does not open the door for conversation. In another message saying she had obviously written it with the understanding it could be leaked. The Duchess deliberately addressing her father, Daddy, because she says that's what she only ever called him. And it would, quote, pull at the heartstrings if it was made public. This information, you know, it's very revelatory and it has a huge potential to impact how these individuals are perceived and impact their reputations. Um, and that's all going on sort of outside and beyond the scope of the legal proceedings themselves. Associated Newspapers, which owns the Mail on Sunday and the Mail, is appealing the High Court's ruling earlier this year, which Meghan won. The judge finding the publication of that letter to her father was unlawful, a ruling the publisher is now trying to overturn. In the explosive tell-all book, Finding Freedom, the couple issuing a statement denying any involvement with the authors, saying they were not interviewed and they did not contribute. But according to Knauf, the Duchess agreed for him to provide information to the authors of that book, adding the book was, quote, discussed on a routine basis and discussed directly with the Duchess multiple times in person and over email. And responding to the revelations, Meghan making a witness statement, apologizing to the court, saying she had forgotten these exchanges and had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. The three judges say they will examine the arguments with great care, giving their ruling at a later date. Wit. Lama Hassan, our thanks to you this morning. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.